aside from being on TV as a presenter, I'm also on radio where I do a football show as a, as a complete sportsman. And I've often had people ask me, you know, where did you start from like before you got to Super Sport? I'm like, well, I started from Super Sport. I joined Super Sport. It was just starting in Nigeria then. I don't support any team in Europe. I don't have any team I follow there. My heart is fully for the Nigerian League. One thing I say to people is this, man, keep abreast of what's going on. If you don't evolve as things evolve, you become redundant. You become irrelevant to what's ahead because your audience are more intelligent and you shouldn't take them for granted at all. People do not have the virtue of being patient, of building. Build your life. Some of the things people think they want would destroy them because they don't have the capacity, the requisite capacity within to manage it. Everything that needs to happen will happen. All you need to do is fortify yourself with knowledge, with exposure, with experience. But unfortunately, to be a journalist, I mean, I see all sorts of people you come on air to talk sports because of your enthusiasm, because of your love for it, does not make you a journalist. They didn't go through a process that should make you a journalist. It doesn't matter how you come in. What matters is that you fortify yourself with knowledge. What matters is that you build yourself consistently. What matters is that you stay relevant with information that comes through. Truth is, look, nobody ever started anything being superb, more or less. If you have the right mentorship, it will create the right connection for you. At times, you don't need to work hard, you need to work smart. Mentorship is really where it is. Never lose who you are. First off, you're a human being. Nobody was born a president. Nobody was born a doctor. We're all born a human being. The minute you lose sight of that, you become paranoid and you think something else will define you. So when I become rich, you know, people will respect me. No. You need to have self-respect. People will respect you. So in life, there are different keys to everything. But one thing is key. Um, you know, who you are by the choices you make in life, you know, and you could, you could better your life by making right choices. And once you have, you don't, you never lose sight of that. It will calibrate how you live here. It will calibrate how you treat every person. You know, you're not better than anybody. Neither is anybody better than you. So don't have inferiority complex. Don't have superiority complex. In fact, don't have no complex.